Hey, what's up guys? Mine's your Firestorm, and I'll try not to shake my chair. This time, we're gonna be talking about Final Gambit from Pokemon. And yes, I did make the thumbnail, and that is gonna be the thumbnail for this video. Yeah, so you may have noticed I've changed a few of my thumbnails on my previous tutorials. However, some of them are gonna need a little, uh, a little of my personal screenshots. So I have to screenshot some of them myself. Even if, even if those tutorials precede what I'm gonna be taking screenshots of in terms of date. Because my first tutorial was on some. You know what? Never mind. Uh, so today, again, is about Final Gambit, which is a fighting type move, which, whenever it makes contact and deals damage that's not blocked to a Pokemon, to an opposing Pokemon, the user will deal damage equal to its HP, then die afterwards. However, if the user misses, or again, if it's blocked, then they don't take damage at all. Let's see how we can re recreate that in RPG Maker MV. Okay, let's get into the database because this is most likely the easiest uh, skill we ever created. Final Gambit! However, it does require uh, action sequencing. So yes, this does require at least action sequence pack 1. But I'll list it as just needing action sequencing. And with the description says, it deals damage equal to the user's current HP. The attack deals greater than zero damage. The user loses all their HP. Otherwise, nothing happens. So, the main thing you want to do here is... Well, this is a physical attack, I guess. I said this success 50%, but that's just so it's easier for me to demonstrate what happens if I misses or not. Uh, in the actual Pokemon game, it was straight up 100%. HP damage will be equal to the user's HP because this will be applied before uh, the specific uh, damages will be applied. Now, you don't have to do this part. I highly recommend you don't do this part, actually. But uh, this utilizes the skill core. The custom cost display just says all HP. It's not that important. It's up to personal preference. Now, we're going to have this action sequencing from target action. Move the user, wait for movement, motion attack, wait 10, action animation, wait for animation, action effect, but then after the action effect, this is where the important stuff happens. If target.result, left parentheses, right parentheses, dot HP damage is greater than zero. I'm probably gonna have it at some point on the screen. Wait 10, move user, home 20, wait 40, face user forward, motion dead user, this is not important at all. Wait 10, HP, whatever your amount, user. Now, usually you would put it to like something like 9,999, but I put minus 100 so that, well, again, I need to be able to see and easily demonstrate that it actually does da do damage to the user. Otherwise, just wait 10. That's it. Nothing really happens too fancy. And of course, the end command. And that will end the target action. So let's see that in action. Alright, so now we're in the battle sequence, and we're gonna use the constellation move. Final Gambit, which, again, says deals damage equal to, to user's current HP, and the attack deals greater than zero damage, user loses all their HP. Otherwise, well, it should say happens, but, well, okay, nothing happens, that, that, that's all. Uh, display costs all HP, but, again, that's just, that's just, how do you say it? It's, it's to cover up the fact, you know, never mind. We're gonna use Final Gambit on this level 1 slime right here, and Harold's gonna skip his turn. So we did 500 damage, which was equal to our current HP. And uh, as you can see there, Rune Fire has 100 less HP. And in our action sequencing, we said to reduce by 100. Uh, hopefully, we can miss one of these. Yes, okay. So we missed, and as you can see on the bottom there, we did not lose any HP, so I'd say it worked. Well, you guys need to try yourself, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. As of this point, I have not recorded the part where I show you what Final Gambit I can actually do. 
But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, that was my tutorial on Final Gambit from Pokemon. Now, the next tutorial is gonna be a special one because there's also potentially, if my planning goes well, gonna be a next tutorial right after it. That's because the next tutorial is gonna come on Halloween. What's about, you'll have to wait and see. And actually, to be frank, I think it's gonna be not that useful. And again, I say not. You know what, never mind. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys, and stay safe.